Hello everyone, it's Sue here from Scrappy Do Sue. Come, I hope everyone's fine and doing well and keeping safe and making lots of nice things. I am okay too at the moment, thank you. So today I've decided to do episode 50 of Marguerite Miller's 52 week collage challenge so we're on episode or week 50 um, which means we've only got two weeks left after this I can't believe it to be honest it doesn't seem possible to me that um, the whole year's gone so quickly I mean I didn't start the challenge until about April time but even so, it just seems to have whizzed by, which is a bit scary, really. Anyway, let's have a look and see what we've got. So I'm going to use this page and hashtag CW Planner 50. The five prompts are something that drips, something that represents a person, a door, a musical instrument, paint or ink. The bonus is a date. Now, you could substitute the bonus for one of the above, you know, one of the five if you haven't got it or don't want to use it. But I've actually managed to find all of it. So, something that drips. I have cut out of a walking magazine this scene of snow and ice. And obviously that does drip. And it looks like a sort of a bright blue kind of warmer day for for that area so I think that that would all be dripping and I have a coupon as well here which is a label um, in the form of a um, sticker and it's all about um, ice so um, this company will provide you with cut ice now ice strips too so we might use both of those because it is a collage so that's that one something that represents a person while well, I found a lovely sticker in my sticker book of a, a beautiful old shoe looks like it's kind of 16th 17th century to me um very ornate when I look at it I think of Marie Antoinette for some reason I don't know why but they did wear those type of shoes and that does represent a person um, because most people wear shoes so that's what I'm going to use for that something that represents a person then a door in my collage book I have the this lovely cream door with a beautiful surrounding um which is very lovely lovely columns so i'm going to use that a date is the bonus and i've got a label which says the 9th of october 1918 i believe that is we don't know what what it could be 1818 but it's 19 9th of october 18 which is the year so we'll put that on and then paint or ink well i might just spray the back of this page the background with some um of my uh ink spray mists so this one is what color is this this is decadent bamboo so it's a greeny color this one you've seen before is a cosmic shimmer um French Navy and then I've got some Tim Holtz mica spray so I've got brushed pewter and tarnished brass and I also have antique bronze which I don't really use these very often so I'm just trying to sort of work out a combination so in order to do it because these spray and they will stain and I don't want that to happen. Oh, musical instrument. I found a violin out of a collage book. 
so that's another thing we're going to use the violin okay so in order to to spray this I've, i'm going to fold that piece of paper over there and i'm going to cover that sheet with it so we'll make the fold a bit further down so the longer side covers last week's challenge like so and i will just use a couple of my quilting clips to keep that secure like so so about there and about there then we won't be spraying that and then we're going to put this sheet behind there like so i think we might need another clip there to keep that flap down and one perhaps there so i can't move that one down as far but that's okay all right so we're ready to spray now this page doesn't want to sit still but I've already distressed around the edge with distress ink. So I just thought I'd just spray randomly um, and hope for the best. So I'm just going to move a few things out of the way in case the spray. I'm going to try and concentrate on keeping it over there. So let's have a look. So if we spray... Um, so let's use this decadent bamboo. Might have to give it a good shake. I'm kind of, I'm just going to hold that corner down of that page and I'm just going to hold it above the page. I've already sprayed the desk. I'm just going to. Scared to spray it now. Spray it there. So it's a nice green. Hmm. Okay. I don't know that I will put the blue on. Let's have a look and see. Um. Pewter and the brass seem a, a little bit dark. Let's try some of this brass. I think I just need to get my wet one which is no longer really very wet but I'm just going to move <laughs> oh gosh that's awful let me get a new wet one out I thought should have thought of that actually before we started there's always something I forget. It's it's funny. I get everything out and think, right, that's everything. Now we can get going. So I'm going to just move this book back a bit. I just want to get... I don't know if you can see that, but if I don't get that wiped off, it's going to stain this desk protector. So I don't really want to stain that to be honest all right that's managed to get that off okay let's <laughs> we're still in shot so this could be a big disaster but as i say you never know until you try I actually think get my glue book out and just spray a tiny bit that's kind of dry now I just want to I just want to spray a tiny bit of this to see oh it's very watery this is hmm maybe we'll just leave it like it is that's too watery that's going to take too long to dry that is I don't have a heat gun I only have a hair dryer so I'll just try this one I don't think it'd be any different try not to 
spray too much but it's impossible it's really impossible to only spray a tiny bit so now that's a nice color well, let's use some of that and I know it's going to take a while to dry but what I could do is go into the other room and just quickly use the hairdryer and put you on hold so I think we'll oh I like that colour just gives it a nice background okay right i was just looking for the lid i've put that somewhere obviously oh there it is okay oh that's very gold that's very nice indeed that's better than the um this pewter one actually i'm going to leave it at that because i will only want to do more and that pewter is grey and tarnished brass. Okay, let's put a tiny bit of this on because that is in the colour palette. I'll just give that a good shake. So that's the one I'm using. And... Mm. very interesting right just going to put you on hold while i go and dry it i'm back so i've dried it with the hair dryer it's lovely and dry now okay so let's take these off my madcap ideas honestly you get used to me take that out look at that <laughs> okay so we'll bring back our collage pieces make sure here okay so right so let's leave that there for a minute and just put Arthur's paperweight there right I'm just going to cut round these few bits so this has come out of a a walking magazine that my husband gets every month from his bank started during lockdown I think it was it's an encouragement to make people get up and go out and be active you know and it's really lovely magazine it's got some absolutely stunning places and it's really nice to see them um, I mean, we do like walking um, but I, I think some of it's geared up for people who actually like hiking as opposed to walking. So I think we'll ink round these pieces with our vintage photo distress oxide. Just to give it a bit of definition. Yeah, and he gets it free with his bank every month. I don't know how long it's going to go on for. Um, not sure. So, Paddy's about to erupt. Paddy, obviously a courier outside. I could, I heard a van pull up. But you know, couriers around all the time, so there's not much you can do about it especially at this time of year that's his collar beeping it does help it does help <laughs> so that's a sticker we may have to i don't know see look there's a big border on that so i'm just going to cut around this i think Actually, no, the border's a nice colour, so I'm just going to ink round that. Yeah, that's, that's what I'll do. Okay, I'll just pop 
pop that back on there for a second. Paddy, stop. Please. There's a good boy. You don't want to hear that. Okay. And just going to fussy cut quickly around this. Lovely violin. It was in the collage book. Um, and I, I thought, you know, it's a bit odd that they didn't have the bow lying next to it, but the bow wasn't there, so I can only put the violin on. Oh. Nice and quiet. Oh, I hope no more come for a minute or two till I finish this video. <laughs> He's now settled back on, on the bed, on his bed. Well, it was the cat's bed, but he's taking it over now. We don't have any cats anymore. Sadly, I do think about them. But i uh, gone to cat heaven. mainly thing you know notice it actually when, when I take Paddy for a walk because when we used to go around the back of our little estate Pebbles the white the latest cat to pass she um she'd actually come with us sometimes Elmo who you know was the one that was always at the nursing home he he would sometimes if he was about home when we actually set off, he would come as well. People would look very oddly at me. They'd say, those, those your cats? <laughs> oh, I've never seen cats walking around with dogs before. But, uh, yeah, so I do miss them. Particularly Pebbles, because she would always appear. If you didn't know where she was... And you think, oh, she's off somewhere doing something. Um, we get round to the back into this lovely wild area. And um, she would appear from behind a bush or something and proceed to walk round with us and then look very disdainfully when we used to stop. Because obviously I don't always let Paddy off because it's very popular around there and sometimes... Um, if it's not our usual time, then I'm not always sure who's going to be around there with their dogs. And uh, I get a bit nervous. So she would look very disdainfully if he was on the lead and it might stop for a wee. He's always, you know, what we call signing the visitor's book. That's what my husband calls it. Cocking his leg up everywhere. I'm going to get a lot of wild creatures around there. So, badgers, rabbits, deer. I've actually seen a deer in there. Um, it jumped back through the hedge when, I, when it knew we were coming. Um, probably hedgehogs, I'd say. Um, and he, there's, there's so many light smells. He's in doggy heaven you know with it he can't get enough of it right so that's the violin i'll just do the door okay this is looks a bit tricky not the outside but the inside is going to be a bit tricky yeah so that's when i miss the most So he's now commandeered in the cat bed. It's funny because Pebbles used to actually prefer sleeping on his bed, his dog bed that's downstairs. Well, it's like a dog sack, really. It's like a tunnel. Um, and uh, a lady made it. Um, we belong to a Facebook group called the Jack Russell Terrier Group. And um, 
they raise money for Jack Russell Terriers and similar dogs and animals and um, lots of people do all sorts of crafting, you know, needlework and making jewellery and that sort of thing and sell them on there and the money goes towards the charity. So um, it's very worthwhile and this lady was making these beautiful, it's sort of a fleecy material dog it's like a big sack and it's lined with sheepskin material as well and that's loose inside so he, he likes to dig that out because jack russell's like to be snuggled up inside you know somewhere so um they are designed really for that type of terrier that likes to um snuggle up so I don't think we'll try and cut the panes of the door out. Okay. Okay, let's ink round that. So, what's everyone been up to? Weather's improved here a bit. It's been just a bit wet. But thankfully no more snow since we woke up to snow and ice on Thursday. Uh, I guess it's the time of year we have to expect some, really. Right. Okay, so we've got... A a very unusual just press that down there a bit okay let's have a look how where we're going to put all these things so something that drips we've got a snowy scene here and a nice ticket here might put those on and we've got our violin and we've got our shoe We've got our door, so gosh, and our date. I should forget the date, so not sure where this is all going to go. Again, it's a really eclectic mix. So, we might have the door kind of opening into the background like that, perhaps. Maybe. And we've got our shoe and we've got our violin, so and we've got our date here, 9th of October. So I think that violin might look better. I don't know. I want to put it upright, but it, it's not laying kind of that way. So Gonna have a big gap again so that's why I wanted to kind of put um, that on I don't know that I've got another musical instrument we could put on um, A matter of deciding where they should all go really okay if I put the shoe there it's not going to have any background but we'll put that down I think so that we I've got some idea we'll work around that I think so there's the shoe and there's our date and that's about it really unless I can find 
um, a big 5-0 um, to go on it. Um, just see if I've got any tickets with the numbers on in here. Um, Have a quick look. I should have got some raffle tickets with five. Oh, we have got a raffle ticket that says three fifty. We could cut that up, up and take the fifty off there. I think maybe that might be. Although it is yellow. Um. Let me see, I'm just having a quick look, see what else I've got with numbers on. I've got anything else with 5 0 on, or a combination of numbers would be nice. size ephemera here just see if there's anything in here i thought i had seen something with numbers on but uh i must have imagined it then hmm i think in there okay just under there for a minute Right, so I don't quite know, I can't remember where I saw it, so what I thought maybe is we'll just cut that down. So we can use those bits with the numbers on. And there we have our 50. Just going to ink around that. Oh, there's a lot of huffing and puffing coming from Paddy. What's the matter, Paddy? Why are you huffing and puffing? Because I'm talking and you want to have a snooze. It's all right when you want to bark at the couriers, make a noise, isn't it? But not all right when he wants to have a, a snooze. So something like that, I think. And perhaps we will put this on the background of, I don't know, something. A little piece of scrap, maybe. Let's have a look, see what I've got. In my big scrap. wallet that's getting scrappier and scrappier now I am going to have to go through these and find all the small medium and large pieces and separate them out because otherwise I just have bits everywhere I don't know if anyone else does that whether you're all extremely tidy so you could well be much tidier than me so, let's put it on a bit of music paper I think that would be nice kind of hmm much there that would actually show through. Let's have a look. Hmm. 
Mm. Back, so we'll just tear that like so. We'll ink round that. The send that might show up. So we'll just put that kind of on there like that, just so that that shows up. Okay, right. Let's get these down. Okay. Time for the scrappy do glue book, so I'm actually going to take the page off and throw it in the bin. You'll be surprised because I'm not throwing any of this away, am I? I just keep turning it over and <laughs> reusing it when it's dried. <laughs> oh, I'm going to put this down first. With the glue stick because it's very thin. That should glue down. Okay, so we'll take these off and hope we can remember. We've got the shoe there and this is going to go kind of, I think, We'll kind of bring it in a bit, I think, like so. Oh, it just that doesn't look very straight from this angle. That's better. Okay. Then I think we might just put this ice label down here. So if we put that kind of here, and then the door. There, I think. So I put that first. Oh, I think I had it then, and I think I pressed it back down. Oh. So, what did we say? We wanted the door around about there, so we kind of want this about there. Okay, so put this door on and I think I will use, well, I'm fast running out of the art glitter glue now. Um, so I think maybe after Christmas I shall be putting in a glue order. I'm hoping there's going to be enough in here. I've got some cosmic shimmer left in that bottle as well. And a, and a bit of um, Beacon 3 and 1, I think it's called. Um, so I've got a bit of everything at the moment. So hopefully it's enough to last me. I don't really want to put an order in at the moment. I want to concentrate on Christmas <laughs> because we've only got, well, we've only got next weekend and the following weekend we're having our Christmas get together. So that's, sorry, that's a bit too high. So that's better. But I just want that that way a bit. So well, that's a bit strange to actually glue down. So yeah, so I'm focusing really on that now. Food. You know, 
everything that goes with it. Okay, right. Now, where should we have this? We could have that sort of there. We have changed our mind, and then we could have the 50 down here. Like so. Let's get another bit of music paper because I have this scrap wallet. This is what I'm rustling about in. As you can see, there's lots of scraps of all different sizes. And I'm pretty sure there will be another scrap in here of just music paper. I mean, they're all tidy. It's just, you know, rummaging all the time, isn't it, really? Although when I've got a project that I'm actually collaging things, I do get just a, enough bits out, you know, to... Um, I've just seen a big piece there. There's, oh, that's a different colour. Um, yeah, so I don't have to rummage too much then. I'll try and prepare that way. But it's just never-ending, all these bits, really. Scraps, isn't it? They just keep coming. And, you know, I've been a bit ruthless lately and thrown a few tiny, tiny bits away that, you know, was actually keeping in the past, but I've got a box full of those. <laughs> so I, I think, no, I'm not keeping any more now until I've used up those others. So I'm just looking to see if I've got another piece, and there I have. Okay, right. Okay, so I'm going to have to stick that shoe down a bit in a minute. So, should we have that going like that? That would be quite nice, I think. Like that, or like that. And that there. I like it that way so let's put that down I read I'm not using glue stick on these bits because it's thicker paper and the glue sticks I have at the moment they're not very good things will start coming away um, Okay. Oh. As soon as it dries out, things start unpeeling, you know, becoming unglued. And I worry about that, particularly if you were, you know, if I do open a shop and I haven't, I haven't done any more about that yet even though my friend has encouraged me to. I have, I've downloaded that app, the Etsy selling app. And that's as far as I've got, I'm afraid. I haven't done any more. I've started to set up an account, but I haven't actually... Right, that's going to take too long, so I'm going to have to leave that upside down in a pot somewhere. Over there, maybe, and get the. Sorry, I've just knocked the cable as I went over that side. So, cosmic shimmer, here we come.
gosh, that's struggling as well to come out. Goodness me. The concentration, it's quiet. Oh, so quiet. <laughs> Wasn't that a song by Bjork? All right, Paddy. <laughs> dear, oh dear. What? Dog is sighing and moaning and groaning. Let's put a bit of glue there. I don't think it likes this metallic paint. Okay, right. Now, we'll put this down. of music paper because that goes with the musical instrument really doesn't it I think we'll bridge those two with it and that that definitely could be stuck with glue stick this glue sticks very very hard you know it's once you start rubbing it, it's lovely like that, but it takes a while to get it going. So that's our number 50. And then we've got our, our date and we will perhaps... Oops, up the wrong way, this music. I like to get it the right way if I can. So that would be a nice... It's on the other side. Decisions, decisions. Okay, let me sort of tear it there. We don't want a huge piece because we just want it up here. So we'll tear off the blank area. I'll kind of have that date, I think. Or may I have it? No, I don't want it down there, I don't think. Or do we just have it like that, maybe, on its own? quite like it up there but I won't put it on that music paper. I think it's a, it's a nice piece on its own. Always changing my mind aren't I? Like it's not until you get things out that you kind of start playing with them. That's straight. So there's our date. Um, what I might do is just take 
a little piece of music paper and put that there just just above the violin just echo that other piece Okay, right, let's pin this, put this lid back on this, pin this glue. Okay, so it's gone a little bit curly-whirly because Obviously, I used the hairdryer on it, but not too close. I just want to glue that down. Always find something when you put the glue away, I find. We don't want wet, wet one, do we? Get rid of that one. Okay. Right, I'm just going to ink round the edge of this paper, okay? Yeah, that looks better to me. So let's recap. Let's cover that side up. It's very distracting, I think. Okay, so to recap, hashtag CW planner number 50, we have something that drips. So I've got a, a very icy, snowy scene here, and I've also got an ice ticket here because ice drips and snow drips when it melts. Something that represents a person. I have this beautiful um, vintage shoe, very old. And then we have a door here. We have this lovely colonnaded surround to this lovely cream door. Um, a musical instrument, we have a violin and we have bits of music paper that I've just added in. Paint or ink. I've splattered the whole, sprayed the whole background with mica paint. So um, I used the tarnished brass, which was, this is Tim Holt's uh, Ranger Distress Mica Spray tarnished brass. And we used the Distress Mica Spray that's Ranger Tim Holt's Antique Bronze. And then we also used this ink mist spray which is a cosmic shimmer one it's colors by phil martins it's a special range and that one is called decadent bamboo so that's the green that you can see so then i've added on a number 50 for week 50 and i'm going to write on here hashtag cw50 because i always do check that I've got my black pen which I had out in a previous episode right I think the black would go better so I'm going to write down here hashtag CW planner number five oh and the bonus was a date and there it is the 9th of october the year something 18 so it could be 17 18 18 18 19 18 2018 take your pick so i hope you enjoyed that 
I quite like the look of the way it turned out, really. Um, I think the collages are getting a bit better. I know there are no rules, but I think I'm sort of learning. I've learned quite a bit since I've been doing this, you know, uh, and changing the way I do things a bit. So that's very shiny. I love that background. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.